first guest is known as the ultimate hunter. Dun, dun, dun. The ultimate toy hunter, that is. Jordan Hembro is a renowned toy dealer who travels the globe searching for rare vintage items. In the newest season of the Travel Channel's Toy Hunter, Jordan finds himself at the center of a high-stakes toy game where he's helping others get in on the action. Take a look. Oh, you know, I was getting ready to ask, yo, by the way, can anybody come with you on a hunt? I don't typically take newbies out on the road. So you're gonna come with me? I'll come with you. But then again, I'm going on a dig anyway. I could show him the ropes and maybe we'll find something for his foster camp. I'm in. I'm in. All right, so let's do this, man. I'll call you. Toys roll! Woo! Toys grandma! Oh my yeah. goodness! Yay! Toys roll! Welcome! The toy hunter, Jordan Hembro, and that, he's from Run DMC? Yeah, that's Daryl from Run DMC. Hip hop legend. He's a big toy guy. At a toy game. Really? Totally he love that. So, did you take him with you? I did. I did, and you're going to see that. It was, we, we took him with us and we went digging for toys together. It was How did fantastic. He, do? he did great. He did? Yeah, he's got a great, he's got this like huge passion for toys and nostalgia and pop culture. He just was like a huge kid again. That's great. So this is season three of Toy Hunter. We are. Very, congratulations on <laughs> that, you, by the way. Thank you. Very successful show. So be, before there's a TV show, how do you get into collecting toys in the first place? I was, I was the proverbial, uh, you know, geek nerd when I was a kid. My, my, you know, bedroom was filled with Star Wars figures and everything. I got a job out of college buying for a comic book shop that had, a, you know, turned into a chain of retail stores, and I was a buyer for that, and that's how I basically started in the business. Wow. That's crazy. The corporate world. I mean, that's crazy to be that industrious, because you were trading toys, weren't you selling toys when you were young, yeah, too? Yeah, 16. Yeah, 16. actually, yeah. well, I, like two or three on, uh, in second grade, I was trading like Yoda action figures for milk money. So, and now you have like celebrities coming to you. I do, I'm I very mean, lucky. not just Run DMC. No, no, in season three of Toy Hunter, you're going to see people like, you know, Run DMC, uh, Taboo from the Black Eyed Peas, Hulk Hogan is with us. Uh, the great Stan Lee, you know, makes an appearance on the show every now and then. It's Boy. just incredible. So they Stan, all come to you. I was going to say, Stan Lee is like in, in your world. Oh, he's the on world, That's the ultimate get yeah, right yeah, there, it's isn't sort of it? Like he walks in, you're like, yes, anything you want. I'll find anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> How do you decide what you're going to go after? Do you ever run out of ideas and think, oh, geez, I've collected everything at this point? Uh, I, you know, I do. It's funny, which is why I have people asking for stuff. Um, I usually go after the stuff that really appeals to me. And really what the show centers around is like the sweet spot of collecting back from the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. Because I'm an 80s kid. I was born in the 70s. That's really like the heyday of when toys were making this explosion with, you know, with the franchising with movies and characters mm -hmm. and everything like that. I know you were trying to find your, I mean, I, I, I got to work and I was like, I wonder if he got that Batman mm -hmm. Batman equipment, utility, a utility belt. belt. Yeah. And here I show up and you've got it. Boom. But, not, but not only is it the utility belt, it's the helmet and the cape. It is, it so is. So how much is something like this worth? It's also in the box, which is so rare, right? Yeah, it is. It, you know, you never see anything like this. And, and last year, people were asking, you know, what's your holy grail? And I said, I've got to get the Batman utility belt. I went to actually England, because we film overseas this season. I found this in a little shop. Uh, you're looking at about $20,000 for this piece. How much did you no buy it way. for? No way. I, 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 paid, no, I, I paid close to ten grand on it. And I told the guy what it was wow. worth and everything. But it's funny, because the conversion rate was different, because I paid in pounds. So you got that whole conversion oh, okay. thing going on there yes, in your yes, head. I know. Yes. Tell us about a few of the other things that you've got here. What does this comic book looks like? An old, this old school. This is great. This is 1939 Detective Comics. This is what? the fourth appearance of Batman. It's actually kind of cool because Batman's not even on the cover. You had one of these in your attic. You're looking at fifteen thousand dollars for a comic book. Yeah, wow. fifteen. And what would this have gone for originally? Pennies, right? Pennies. Yeah, ten cents a nickel, something that's a, like that. It's a good investment. And. And um, what about talking? Talking canine. canine. Talking canine. This is another thing I found over in England. It's done by Palitoy Corporation. Uh, Palitoy was an English toy company, and Doctor Who's all in the news now because it's so popular. Right. You had one of these. You're looking at about four hundred bucks. All right, That's Rebecca's crazy. got a ton of stuff in her attic. She and her mom cleaned out the attic. She's got a ton of old toys. Yes. Right? Oh, tell right? me. Well, like, what about the old Star Wars figurines? But see, they're not in this pristine shape. They're not in the box. They're loose. They're played they're with. They're loose. They're played with. You know, they're still worth money. You're talking anywhere between 10 to 15. You want to just make sure they have all their little guns and everything like that. Really? Yeah, they're cool. They're your childhood. Hang on to them. And the Smurfs? Smur I love Smurfs. <laughs> I love Smurfs. I've got the Smurfs figurines. You know what's really go a lot? The holiday Smurfs. Anything, you know, around Christmas or Thanksgiving really? Smurfs. Yeah, you know, pop a Smurf with a turkey leg. They're worth money. Wow. You've heard it, folks. Yeah, that's it. You've got pop a Smurf with Smurf. a turkey yeah. leg. Do you collect Barbies? Things like that? I do. I sold, actually, in season two, I sold a Barbie. I, I sold that at an auction. It went for like three grand. Barbie number two. Wow, Barbie number two. And she was wow. loose out of the box.
She was loose. She was in the box. She wasn't even in the box. I'm not going to touch that one. She was loose and out of the box. I'm just going to pull it. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Season three. You can watch Toy Hunter Wednesdays, 9 o'clock on the Travel Channel. Really fun show.